Award-winning Christian hip-hop artist T-Bone has always been motivated by a desire to bring hope to those who live in the hood. My music was inspired and is inspired from where I came from. Drugs and gang life are the norm in San Francisco's Mission District. Our icons and our people that we look at as successful in a place like this is the pimps that, that got all the money. The drug dealers are the ones with the nice shoes and the jacket and the bling on. So for me, a lot of my fears growing up were, you know, worried about getting shot, worried about getting stabbed. Early on, T-Bone tried to stay away from the gang life. Music was something that really kept me focused and kept my head straight because I knew I didn't want all that life. I'd seen where all that led to. All my friends were in juvenile hall, you know, some of them being shot and killed. And, you know, so I said, man, there's got to be more to life than this. That changed when he was a teenager. A lot of my friends were involved in the gang life and drug dealing, and they were trying to pull me in. And so, uh, you know, so I started hanging out with them, and, and eventually when you're hanging out with them, their enemies become your enemies. His parents became Christians and shared their faith in Christ with him. I didn't want nothing to do with him because I felt he was a God that wanted to strip me of my joy, strip me of my happiness, strip me of my friends, strip me of, you know, this life, what I thought life was about. But one incident made T-Bone really think about eternity. I heard about one of my close friends, Ralphie, um, getting shot and killed. They did a drive-by shooting and Ralphie got shot once in the chest and once in the back. And he was laying in the grass twitching, you know, in his own blood. And uh, everyone was saying, Ralphie, get up, get up. What is everyone dying for? Over a stupid color, you know, over a neighborhood and, and a section of town or, or a name of a street. I can choose to stay in this in this whole thing and continue to go down and get more involved and get deeper in this thing. Or uh, I can choose to, you know, turn my life around. So that's when I really began to search for God, not because my parents told me to search for God, not because other people were telling me, but because I was really searching for God for myself. Then a guest speaker came to his parents' church. He made a call and said, if you want to know who Christ is for yourself, come up to the altar. And I went up to the altar, and as soon as I went, man, I began to cry. The presence of God was there. The Holy Spirit hit me, and I said the sinner's prayer, and that's when I became what I named my first record, which is a redeemed hoodlum. After becoming a Christian, T-Bone knew the message of his music would have to change. There's, there's thousands of kids that love God all over the world that probably come from this environment or that even maybe don't come from this environment, but they're young and they want to listen to music that, you know, that is they can relate to. So he started writing Christian rap. I could have died on the streets because they got so many killers. I've seen thugs come to the Lord, prostitutes, police officers, sound men, you know, um, gang dudes take their gang rags and lay their gun and their colors at the altar. And so when you see those kinds of things, you know that God is in it. As a pioneer of Christian hip hop, T-Bone has won numerous awards. More importantly, he knows that God has not given up on reaching young people. God wants him to know, you know what? It's okay that you've made all these mistakes. I forgive you and I love you and accept you the way you are. I'm just so thankful because I'm a person that deserves hell, you know, and God has given me, um, he's made me deserving of heaven. And God has allowed me to, uh, to live through all those things and he spared me for a reason. So my life is his, the reason I exist is Jesus and like Paul said, to live is Christ for me and to die is gain.